Ninth Parliament will kick off its third session tomorrow. The first order of business for the August House will be to receive the current list of all accounting officers of the various government ministries and department. The Speaker of Parliament, during the State of the Nation address, reminded the lawmakers that there were bills before Parliament for consideration. This included Public Order Management Bill, the Anti-Money Laundering Bill, the Anti-Counterfeit Bill and the National Population Council Bill. The just concluded second session of Parliament passed 16 bills and 44 motions. The session also considered 16 petitions. Now, some of the lawmakers in the August House argue that the past session was excellent based on the number of bills that were passed. The Parliament was in position to pass the bill, the bill about the oil and gas exploration, the upstream and the midstream. The Parliament managed to pass that bill. There are dissenting voices to this position though. The failure to recall Parliament uh, was a big challenge for all of us. We, we thought um, that was an opportunity uh, to talk about the arrest of our colleague members of Parliament uh, who, who had their Christmas in jail. Some legislators, however, expressed dismay at the actions of Parliament over the controversial death of outspoken Butaleja woman MP Serena Nebanda last year. Um, but the major challenges that sort of tended to derail the House had to do with uh, the, the death of uh, Honorable Nebanda. Critics, however, applaud Parliament for standing up to the executive over the expulsion of the NRM rebel MPs whose stay in Parliament is now being contested in court. The decision to declare such an office vacant cannot be made on clear and ambiguous and unequivocal provisions of the law. During the State of the Nation address, President Choi Museven commended the Ninth Parliament. Some quarters argue that most of the bills, such as the petroleum bills that were passed, were in interest of the executive. Political commentator Julius Chihomoro flags the performance of the Ninth Parliament during its second session. All what they are doing, the first, the first, the first session they stepped in Parliament, was to be given 300 million, 103 million to facilitate their vehicles. We had the oil and gas bill. It was it was it, it was it was tackled, but uh, the, it still has some questions. So that means that it was not it was not properly uh, properly tackled. It has it still has some issues. Chihumor also argues that legislators must walk the talk and execute their oversight role. Are we working for our people? Are we representing our people or are we representing our own cities? Then they know, of course they know, the constitutions give the mandate, they know what they're supposed to be doing there. They work on those things which are a matter of concerns. The thing that matters that concern the nation, concerns the people that send them in parliament. Other than doing these things, striking in parliament, rioting now and again, walking out of the, walking out of the parliament when the president is giving his speech. Awaiting the MPs during the third session will be the controversial public order management bill and the marriage and divorce bill that were shelved in the previous session. Maurice Chol, NTV.